concept of God in mysticism. Mystic man did not represent God as a human figure, as in this painting by Michelangelo. They did not consider it morally wrong, they just considered it wholly inaccurate. For any true mystic, God bears no resemblance to a portly, elderly father figure with a beard and in Arab dress. Instead, mystic simply stated that there was no way God could be represented, and so, like the Islamic religion and many Eastern traditions, no image was ever used. The Void When initiates needed to be taught, mystics used and use the symbol of a void. The fifth element in the Japanese elemental system, for example, is the void. This photo shows a natural black-green Haitian stone donut carved from Chinese jadeite. And this shows a Chinese bai, a type of circular ancient Chinese jade artefact. The earliest bai were produced in the Neolithic period, particularly by the Liangsu culture. 3400 to 2250 BC. They were also made in glass to better represent spirit. Neolithic by were undecorated. Stephen Hawking and Black Holes In one of the most interesting twists on the nature of God, Stephen Hawking's black holes come closest to that of the mystic's void. Hawking came to realise that not only were black holes a mechanism of destruction, a bit like water going down a plug hole, but they could also be a mechanism of creation. They emitted particles as well as swallowing them. I used to think that information was destroyed in black holes, but the ADS-CFT correspondence led me to change my mind. This was my biggest blunder, or at least my biggest blunder in science. As such, he probably discovered the reason why mystics talk of God breathing out and breathing in. The breath of God. The Taurus This cycling of energy is represented in science diagrams as a torus. The dragon and the donut shape are both symbolic ways of showing the existence of the same thing, a recycling of energy. But scientifically, the existence of this recycling energy has been proved. Planets have a magnetic field in the shape of a torus. Our Sun has a large toroidal field surrounding it, the heliosphere, that is itself embedded inside a vastly larger toroidal field encompassing the Milky Way galaxy. And a new study has shown for the first time that a torus of gas and dust will naturally form around the nuclear black hole as material falls in towards the nucleus. Quasars the counterpart black holes, also form a torus. So what mystics predicted symbolically is now appearing scientifically. This is a gold Celtic torque of 150 to 50 BC. And in mystic symbolism, this is an Ouroboros, the serpent that eats its own tail, representing constant creation and destruction as well as the recycling of energy, especially an Ouroboros with a tree of life. Other Symbols The other symbols used to represent this 
divine creator and destroyer, was the hub of a great wheel, forever turning. The name then given was the Unmoving Mover. Found at the centre of this wheel, it did not move whilst the rim was constantly spinning. Representations of Activity In Hindu scripture, the equivalent of God is Brahman. While Brahman is not depicted, the three main activities of this entity are, whilst later depictions fall into the same trap that Western traditions did, making the images more like human beings, early depictions show an entity having three heads, functions or aspects. The word Trimurti means three forms, and in that Trimurti, one form is the creator, another is the preserver or maintainer, and the third is the destroyer. Creation, maintenance and destruction. Names The name or term God is rarely if ever used by mystics. If I quote the entomology of the name God, you may perhaps see why. From Proto-Germanic Guchen, source also of Old Saxon, Old Frisian, Dutch God, Old High German God, German God, Old Norse Chut, Gothic Gus, which is of uncertain origin. The same source also indicates the root is Chut, that which is invoked. Source also of Old Church Slavonic Zovo, to call and the Sanskrit Huchuta, invoked, from root Chui, to call, invoke. Instead, the term used is ultimate intelligence, as it is better describes the concept the term represents. Ultimate Intelligence By definition, the ultimate intelligence is the sum of all the functionality and attributes of the forms created over time, the master package, in software terms, of the creation. By virtue of the fact that this ultimate intelligence is all function, this being is indeed a merciful, benevolent, just being, but is equally well a destructive, unmerciful, angry, tyrannical being. Furthermore, this being is heterosexual, homosexual, male and female. Black, white, coffee-coloured, furry and hairless. Happy, sad, joyful and whimsical. Dog function, cat function, human function, tree function, plant function, water function, mineral function being. This spirit being is all possible functions, attributes, relationships and activities in creation. This being is able to do everything and be everything because it was the template, the master version, from which everything else was created. This being is in a position to understand everything, because this being is the sum total of everything, every attribute and every function. Varied within Atar, from all pervading consciousness. Know then, that both this visible world and that which is unseen is alike are this being. Nought is, save this being. And all that is, is this being. Blind are men's eyes. Though all resplendent shines, the world by deity's own light illumined. O thou, whom man perceiveth not, although to him thou deignest to make known thyself, thou all creation art. All we behold. As we are the created, every dog, cow, tree, cloud, leaf of a bullet tree, blade of grass or human being, every single thing has been based on a tiny, tiny part of this ultimate intelligence. Sri Ramakrishna. I look upon all human beings, in fact, all creatures, as incarnations of this deity. 
I see this being evolving into all things, manifesting in everything, in man and nature. I see this being has taken these multifarious forms that appear before our eyes in this universe. And this is why no mystic ever uses the word God. Asclepius, Hermes Trimagistus. I cannot hope to name the maker of all majesty, the master of everything with a single name, even a name composed of many names. This being is either nameless or all-named.